three six one six. Stanford or Sanford? Sanford and Sun Avenue. This is where we got our start. Section 8 investing in this area is really what propelled our business to what it is today. We got some cold winters, bro. And if you don't properly weatherproof your homes, you don't properly winterize these bad boys, right? You get the water in the pipes. It freezes. What happens when it freezes? It expands, right? Puts a little crack in that pipe. Then it thaws a little bit. And then, bam! You got yourself a major plumbing leak that you got to fix. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV. Giving it to you straight. Old Brooklyn, y'all. That is a neighborhood in Cleveland. Happens to be the neighborhood where Holton Wise, we really got our start in that area, right? And we got an opportunity for you to invest in that area. 3616 Stanford Ave, right? Cleveland, Ohio. Or, again, the old Brooklyn neighborhood more specifically. Back in the day when Holton Wise started building up our business, uh, you know, before we were, you know, like right now, as I talk to you, we're all over Ohio, okay? Like Cleveland, Cincinnati, Columbus, Dayton, Youngstown. We're everywhere, but you know where it started, y'all? It started in the old Brooklyn neighborhood. This is where we got our start. Section 8 investing in this area is really what propelled our business to what it is today. You have the opportunity to pick something up in that area. 3616 Stanford, man. 999, more or less turnkey. <laughs> At least it was, okay? You see here, you got the little updated kitchen. You got the gray walls. Everything's looking how it should, except for like, you know, the gigantic hole uh, in the kitchen ceiling, right? You got a bathroom above there, right? You got a little water leakage, okay? Y'all, this is Cleveland. I know a lot of you are coming to us from out of state, especially those West Coast folks, right? All you Californians, man. You guys come out here to Cleveland and y'all forget Y'all forget about that Cleveland weather, dude. This ain't San Francisco, y'all. It ain't freaking 65 degrees, 365 days a year. Is that, is that's about what it is in the Bay. I think it's like 65, 70 every day. In Cleveland, nah, -uh, man. We got some cold winters, bro. And if you don't properly weatherproof your homes, you don't properly winterize these bad boys, right? You get the water in the pipes. It freezes. What happens when it freezes? It expands, right? Puts a little crack in that pipe. Then it thaws a little bit. And then, bam! You got yourself a major plumbing leak that you got to fix, right? So you have a turnkey home that is no longer turnkey because now there's a goddamn hole in your kitchen ceiling, okay? You guys get that all fixed up, though, right? I think you're looking... You know, roughly in the 15 ballpark or so, 15 grand, maybe 20, 15, 20 thousand dollar area to get this thing back up to snuff and lead certified. Then you're going to have yourself a Section 8 rental property bringing in about $1,100 a month, right? From here, we got to take offers. You guys want to tour the property, put together your own scope of work. That's totally fine with us, right? Uh, if you guys want to tour the property before putting in forth any offer, that's great. I'd love to get you in there, okay? Send my team an email, sales at holtonweiss.com. Send us an email prior uh, to doing any type of offers. Let's get all the due diligence out of the way, and then we'll get you in there. You hit us up before 5 o'clock. We'll get you in there same business day after 5 o'clock. It'll be after that. If you're an out-of-state investor and you don't have the ability uh, to tour it, you don't want to fly all the way to Cleveland, that's fine too. Uh, we could have you email me, let me know how much you want to pay, uh, whether you're paying cash or with some type of like private funding, commercial funding, right? A traditional loan won't work here uh, because traditional lenders need the house to be livable. Unfortunately, the house isn't livable because, again, there's a goddamn hole in the kitchen ceiling. That's a problem, right? You have to fix it up and refi it out, right? So just let me know how much you want to pay and then like, you know, what your contingency is. I assume it would be an inspection contingency so you could double check all the work that needs to happen, right? So just go ahead and send those to my team, sales at holtonweiss.com. And in that scenario, include your proof of funds if paying cash or your proof of funds or your pre-approval letter 
letter, pre-approval letter, rather, if you are financing. And for those of you who do want to pay cash but you want to pull your money back out, do a refinance and you need lenders, let me know. I have lenders who loan to investors just like you uh, all over the country, right? Even if you want to invest in a different market, right? If you're hitting up some of the other markets we're in, Cincinnati, Columbus, Dayton, Toledo, whatever, man, we could hook you guys up with lenders too. Let's go. Previously failed to sell, sell this place. 3616. Uh, Stanford or Sanford? Sanford and Sun Avenue. Stanford, Stanford Connect. Oh, there's a dead squirrel. Oh, he's alive. <laughs> like, bro, there's a dead squirrel on the roof. Get that thing out of here, bro. This is an awfully thin house. Oh, it's got a back porch with the door open. Hey, yo, the door's kicked open. <laughs> Is it? Yep. Okay. Right, we'll go in the front, and we'll just oh, make... The lock boxes too. Oh, it was on this door? Oh. Whatever. Put these signs up. We'll... A little investigation. A little investigatory reporting. A little oh, journal. Like a little a little journalisming. Honest fair everywhere. Oh, this Porsche's got a gangster lean to it. You right here? Yeah. They can see it from the streets. Oh yeah. They're gonna know. Bonk. Good thing I have my head there to hold it up. This sign said, fuck you. It's pretty gnarly, dude. It's not like this shit would pass that anyway. Wow. Thanks. Thanks for nothing, Justin Bibb. <laughs> Should we knock on the front door and just see if the squatters will let us in? Yeah, I can just straight up fucking yeah, kick it no open. different than what they did in the back. A little heads up though that hey, this place might be broken into would have been nice. Oh, I would bring some screws too. So we, and if it is vacant, we can screw that door shut. Yeah, let's check it out first. If it's lockable, though. Yeah, if it's lockable, that's fine. But if not, I mean, something's better than nothing. Look at that, dude. Look at me being a responsible real estate employee. Yeah, I prefer people don't know that it's been broken into. I'm not sure if it's an easier sound. <laughs> Usually. Oh, dude. There's two lock boxes. Oh, cool. Perfect. <laughs> Oh, maybe the screen door is locked, bro. Could be. This should have to be. I hate these lock boxes, dude. Toss it in the mailbox. There's two locks on this door. Mm -hmm. 
Where could I put it? Wow. Yeah. In the mailbox, you think? Yeah, I would just set it in the mailbox. And let them know, hey, pick it up from the mailbox. If somebody steals a lockbox that has nothing in it. Who steals a lockbox? Honestly. Honestly. Oh, I should probably get a lockbox for us, huh? Yeah, maybe. What the fuck is this? Madison. Homewood. Alright, let me grab that real quick. Here I stand at the door. 3661 or 3616. I don't see anybody in there. It does say security camera. Must not apply to the back door. Neighborhood family real estate team. Tom Tom Weiss, we're here. We're here for the house, please. It looks pretty clean in there, so I wonder if hopefully someone just left it open like an idiot. Could just be a clean squatter. In Cleveland, dude? <laughs> no. It's true, I haven't seen one yet. Yeah. There's not a chance. Not in the city. Like fucking Bigfoot, dude. Anybody ever really seen one? Yeah, I know a lot of people that say they saw Bigfoot. No, I mean the clean squatter. Oh, yeah, I've never met you that. You have probably a better chance of seeing Bigfoot. Dude, where do you think you would find Bigfoot in Ohio? Although in Ohio, I think they call him the grass man. Not to get all conspiracy on you, but I do have a degree in uh, you do crypto. Be grassy, dude. I have a degree in cryptozoology. Knock, knock. Hello? There's another lockbox. Hello, anybody here? Uh, this door's gonna be open, no? Huh? Well, here's the living room. Yeah, Damn, dude, that sucks. Yeah, it fucking. Well, that and the the lock box is here. Somebody fucking mashed it. Don't name. There's another one on the door too. What the hell is going on? That's what I'm I mean, shit, dude. I can see into the bathroom upstairs. Yeah. Huh, of course they don't work. Yeah. I don't hear anybody down there. Yeah. I mean, I guess the hope would be that they heard us fucking making a ton of noise. And I didn't hear it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.